what the meaning of freedom looks like um, across intersectional histories. Uh, one man's homeland is, you know, could be a prison for them, but when they leave somewhere and the people that are still here um, are having a hard time, it could, it's a place for opportunity. Um, so we're gonna segue um, into our visual artist, Maha Hamayed. She's a Lebanese American um, and a Dearborn native. She's a recent graduate of Wayne State's Fine Arts Program with a major in photography, and her work um, focuses around surrealism, which I love. Please look, everybody take a minute and just look at her cool photos everywhere around here. Um, her medium, as you can see, is collage and photography, and her work has been showcased at the Argus Museum in Ann Arbor and at um, a couple Wayne State exhibits, so please, Warmly welcome um, Maha to the stage. Um, hello. Yeah, again, um, my name is Maha Mayed. I'm a Lebanese American who was born and raised in Dearborn, Michigan. As a first generation American, I've been influenced by my cultural background finding that the contrast of the American culture I was raised in and the Lebanese culture that my family still adheres to are often almost completely opposite. This combination of cultures leads me to really think about how I fit into the world as well as the way that has impacted my worldview. I find that I often look at things in a way that is perhaps different than many other people, especially having traveled to various countries and being immersed within these cultures in a deeply personal way. Um, actually, I graduated from Fordson High School and finishing my high school education, I was unsure of my future path and leaned towards a more mundane career of teaching, although it was in the fine arts department. While pursuing my career in art education, it became apparent in my heart that I was, I was not involved into a a career working with dozens, if not hundreds, of students. Once I became aware of my love for the arts, I set out to explore more of my career options. And after enrolling in my first photography class, I realized that the openness of options within the field of photography allowed me the flexibility to earn a living as well as explore the creative side of myself. I grew up always being a visual learner and admired all forms of arts. Photography gave me the freedom to dabble in different mediums and experiment with techniques that I was unfamiliar with. The type of work I enjoy creating most are photography-based works as well as mixed media, digital composites, or creating analog collages from found images and seeing what works best. So the photos on the right hand side are all 35 millimeter um, photographs I took with a film camera, developed them, and then I collaged over. And then the photos, the pictures on the left are all analog collages that I made with found images. Um, the uncertainty of using found images is always a fun and meditative process for me. It allows me to experience through the trials of error of combining images, unlike my digital work, where it's more idea-based. I find most of my materials for collage in old magazines that I have purchased at secondhand book bookstores. I tend to use a lot of vintage National Geographic and Playboy, along with other magazines from the 60s and 70s. I enjoy the nostalgic feeling you get from using black and white photos, but it, I contrast them with bold colors, patterns, and designs to balance, balance them out. My main goal for my works, of, my works is to convey feeling of detachment from self, taking the viewer to a place that exists only in my mind. In a time where the world is so oversaturated with photos, I enjoy the challenge of making things that will um, keep the attention of the viewers. I often focus around surreal themes, dreamlike scenarios, questioning sexuality and religion, along with existential themes 
dealing with life and the possibility of what comes after death. I play with the scales of things in my work to seam off in my photos and compositions, making them unnaturally bigger or smaller in comparison to the surrounding subjects. I have a dark sense of humor and like to incorporate that into my work as well, making it more playful and relatable in a sense. I try to keep in mind and compose my work around shapes, primarily circles and triangles, to keep the image flowing. My pieces generally have bright and contrasting color schemes in comparison to real life. As an artist, I draw inspiration from many places, whether it's my dreams and experiences or other surrealist and Dada artists, such as Salvador Dali, Francis Bacon, Max Ernest, Leonora Carrington, and Hannah Hoke. Yeah. Which one's your favorite that you brought? My favorite piece, um, I have a, like the homage to Dolly on, I think it's all the way on the left with the butterfly and the naked lady. Yeah, I like that a lot. Is there any particular reason why you like it? Um, I made it as a response to his rose painting. Yeah, so I, I did that and I just respect his work a lot. Yeah. Yes. How, how did you stumble upon the uh, surrealism? Um, first, like studying art history in school, and then I didn't really, I wasn't passionate about art until I started making collages, and I don't know, it's just easy, and anyone can do it, and it's just fun, like playing around with different things in different environments. Thank you. But yeah, thank you.